Welcome to Gyan Laboratory. My name is Anish and today in this video tutorial I am going to show how to create a widget. I will create a very simple widget and show you how to how you can create in your projects. So make sure that it is iOS development 14 because uh, widget contain widget extension is available only in iOS 14. So I have already created one projects and you can see that uh, iOS 14 I have selected over here and uh, one more thing create a bundle identifier for both uh, for ios projects and uh, also for widget extensions make sure you also create an app group so let's choose an app group okay I have created this app this app is already created in my developer account so it pop up over here so let's create a and extensions click plus to add an other target so you can see a widget extension over here now give any name you want click activate and wait until it get created i choose automatically so i don't need to worry about that so you also create secret app group same thing done you can see one uh, folder created widget extensions where you will uh, find a widget extension dot swift file so uh, this is a code where we need to update and add our functionality it is predefined it will show a current date within the widget extensions preview so whatever we pass data on an app, it will get a uh, encode. We need to encode the data and uh, decode over here and get snap and uh, get timeline. And uh, create a view here. We can uh, create a design within the uh, widget extension entry view. So we will do this thing. So let's create a uh, two class, struct class, where uh, one where I, I will store data and second class I will encode the, the data. okay so let's create it struct name it at store data and codeable where show show text string so right now i'm showing simple string on a widget extensions i will pass the uh, show text from the app and show it in a widget extensions let's encode over here we don't need there is no need for import foundations we need swift ui and import widget swift ui i am using because uh, we need app storage to store the data and that's app storage we will use in a extension Here is app storage. Okay, this is the class of you. Uh, this uh, this app storage is used in Swift Shape UI. That's why we need to import it. So you can give any name. I'm giving create widget. So uh, use the default Swift so, so name. 
so what should name i'm going to use i'm going to use a group name group dot com dot anish dot at time group dot com dot anish dot t then define the variable declarations variable declaration primary Now let's uh, define store data. Okay. Now let's create a function where we will encode the store data. Whatever pass in whatever pass whatever data we pass in store data, we need to encode it. So guard let data is equal to json encoder dot encode what we need to encode store data else data okay one thing i miss try now oh, we have encoded the store data uh, we need to pass the data we need to store that data in a primary data primary data equal to data now whatever data we pass here to encode every time we need to reload a timeline timeline is a delicate method used in a widget extension that, that is a timeline provided all that it get reloaded so let's reload that widget center dot share dot reload all timeline okay now, now move to the visit extension file so same thing we need to copy uh, same thing we need to copy and paste over here because we need the data from app storage same thing okay now what we do we don't need a date over here so let's define it make uh, one thing we forget so whatever the store data we have created make sure that you select the extension in a target so uh, because we need to use this file within the extension let store data store Yeah, okay we are already selected okay done so as we have already defined data we need to also take care of this store data okay now let's create it let store data is equal to store data show text so initially we need a blank it is a placeholder whenever user uh, I try to add widget in an app we need to show something because we are not, we didn't open the application we didn't pass anything something we need to show initially so it is show a blank store data store data okay return it so for the preview also we need to do same thing here let me make static now what we need to do we need to decode the primary data over here guard let store data equal to okay try json decoder dot decode what dot decode what is decode store data store data dot self and the, the data where we have stored the 
power variable as return. Store data, pass the store data over here. Okay. That. Now same thing we need to do this copy from the get snap and paste it over here. So okay, and uh, we as we are uh, need to pass array, so we need to make it array. Done. Now here we need to change this attend. Here what we are passing, what we are doing, we are passing data from app to the widget extension. We, we there is no need to reload every time. For to visit, so put it never. Okay, I, uh, anything I missed? I don't think I missed anything. So I need to pass. So add text. Already text is already added. I just need to show the data which we have passed from app. To the visit extensions entry dot show data store data dot show text okay it get reload it will show this dash as a preview you can see so you can set the visit view as per your choice by just uh, changing the system small to large and a medium in medium it is it will show in rectangular form so make sure when you will whenever you design the widget extension take care of all these three see system medium and large can see now let's move and pass the data to the widget extensions okay uh, as we are working on dynamic thing let's take uh, one text field one button I'm not taking care of design so make sure whenever you work on your applications so based on the requirement do design as per txt text button btn store I will create one function store data where I will pass it text string let let's define a store data store data equal to store data what we will pass we need to pass text over here now let's define a primary data primary data and pass the store data okay so we have passed our text to store data and we have passed store data to primary data now we need to encode it encode data so it will what it will do it will our store data get stored over here and it get encode and stored in a app storage and there we have reload the timeline okay so let's call it store data txt dot text if it is blank then that's this also let's call on a view d load otherwise it will not show when app is not run okay punish malik okay now let's
let's run and check. Right now, I'm not passing any dynamic data. As uh, in view did load, I have passed my name. Let's check whether it appear in widget extension or not. Long press anywhere in the screen. Click on plus button. You will see a create widget. Click on it. You can see as I have passed and it's malik on the view did load. It appear on a widget extensions. So I am adding two widget, small and the medium one. So I can show you any changes done in app side it appear in both automatically okay now as we already done now check whether it is working or not uh, please subscribe this channel Let's click the play button. Now check whether it can update it or not dynamically. You can see. Please subscribe this channel. It get updated. As we have uh, reload the timeline, it went to the extension. It decode the data and show it over here. Okay, you got it. How to create an extension with the extension? It is very easy and how to pass the data from app to the extension it also very easy take care of this thing when we create a codable object take care of this target select both app target and an extension target okay take care of all, all this also so so create an application based on application uh, create an application based on a requirement and uh, build the visit Hope you like this video. Please subscribe this channel, and uh, I will come up with more video, more interesting video. Thank you, Terry. Thank you very much. Bye bye.